If the hinge on your Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series computer looks like this one, this video should guide you through the process to replace the LCD screen. This is a model 5547. The LCD is cracked. If you replace the screen yourself and purchase the LCD screen from a website that sells screens, it'll cost you about a quarter of the price that you would pay if you sent it back to Dell for a repair. There are three options to get the correct replacement screen for your laptop. Find the service tag number on the bottom of the laptop and go to dell.com and click on support. Remove the screen and get the part number off the back of the screen or find the part number on the documentation that you received with your laptop. To remove the battery, there's two screws on the back cover. Remove them. There's a little slot. Pry underneath the slot. and remove the cover. There's four screws that hold the battery in place. Remove them. There's a, a little ledge over here by the hard drive that you can put your fingers under. Pull up under there and lift the battery out. To remove the bezel from on top of the screen, there is a little ledge along the side of the screen. Put your fingernails under there and then gently pop the side loose. Gently work your way around the rest of the bezel. And then pop the bottom out. Be a little careful. There's um, the hinge cover. And this is actually a separate piece of plastic. So this might hold it on a little bit. You have to just work that loose. And then now you can see I have everything loose except for the plastic piece along the hinge. Open the rest of the way and you'll be able to take the hinge out. Next, remove the four screws that hold the screen in place. They're located here, 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 and here. After the four screws are removed, flip the LCD down onto the top of the keyboard. You'll notice there's a ribbon cable that connects the LCD panel located right here. There's a piece of tape over top of the connector. Remove it. Remove 
the tape that is connected to the ribbon cable. I used a straight razor blade to scrape it up to get it started. After the tape that's on the top of the connector is free from the LCD screen, gently pull and release the connector from the LCD screen. Install the new screen, reconnect the connector, put an additional piece of adhesive tape over top of the tape that's connected, that's on the connector, reinstall the four screws on the corners of the screen, and remove the protective film from the screen. Snap the bezel back into place. Reinstall the battery. Power up to check your work. And you're done. Thanks for watching.